Okay, so number seven here, we are wanting to, it's just practice with a ruler. Just make sure you're good at reading ruler lengths. So the question is find the length of QA. So Q starts here, goes all the way to here. That's, that's what that little arrow is indicating. So QA is, is this length here. And so the question is, how long is line segment QA? How long is that exactly? See how it's a little more than an inch? QA is a little longer than an inch according to the ruler. Exactly how long is it? Well, it's an inch and then it's two more little marks. See how it's one, two more little marks past an inch. Well, how much are those? Well, let's see how many of them there are. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's a little bigger so I can write better. Uh, 13, 14, 15, and then this would be 16. So there's 16 sections within each inch. 16 sections within each inch, right? So there's 16 sections within each inch. So QA, line segment QA is one whole inch and how much more? What if two sixteenths? Yeah, it's two sixteenths more, isn't it? And now we always reduce fractions. Whenever you have a fraction where you can divide the same number out of the top and the bottom, we, we always do that. So reducing that fraction, we'll get one and one eighth. There it is. There's our answer. Does that make sense? It's one and two sixteenths. QA, line taking the QA is one and two sixteenths more of another inch. One whole inch and two sixteenths more of another. Reduce that one and one eighth inches is how long QA is. So there's practice using a ruler. 